Hi, I'm Kristen. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. And in today's video, we're going to be working on Remy's house. I know I've technically done a video of me decorating this house already, but I decided to go ahead and redo it this time around because in all honesty, I wasn't happy with it the first time I decorated. And this time, I'm very pleased with how it turned out and it actually ended up being very town styled. I actually love the red brick fronts. It's probably one of my favorites next to the white picket fence because I use those two the most and I'm hoping in the future we get more fences because we need more variety and there just isn't enough fen fences in my opinion. I made this pool with the intention of being it a community pool of some sort or it can be a pool for just Remy and his pals, whatever works. And in front of his house he has this beautiful water fountain that is from Beauty and the Beast and I love this item so much and I was so happy when I saw it in my Scrooge shop. I've been resetting Scrooge so much hoping to get new items and got this so it's going in front of all of the main buildings in the plaza. Next to the fountain is a parking lot, well kind of. I was originally going to make a rug that acted like a parking lot but I'm not that talented and ended up just using the gravel path instead which I only which honestly looks really nicely, and I'm very pleased with it. I finally finished Simba's level 7 quest, which gave me this beautiful Dreamlight Valley tree, and I knew I had to use it in the plaza somewhere, and came up with a style using the fences here. Oh, behind the parking lot, I made this cute little ice cream shop in case people wanted something cold, because it's been really hot this summer, and who doesn't love a good ice cream cone while out shopping? I really love how the fences just frame the walkway to the forest of Baylor and Peaceful Meadow. It just flows really nicely and adding in the extra seating with the trash can and a few lights and some posts. Also bushes, flowers, and trees all tied in together and I think that's what makes it so towny like. And the villagers really seem to love this area too because I always see them out and about. I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the video because I'm going to stop talking here and, but before I do, don't forget to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you'll know when I post another video. And with that, I will see y'all next time. Bye!